Hi everybody, welcome back to the Jewelry Spot. What I'm showing you is my collaboration, Dahlia Designs, um, please check out that channel. This is by Deb Huck, this is her challenge, and you, I'm, I was showing you that my theme is um, like hearts, the love theme. Um, an optional challenge is to make a necklace, the colors to include are red, pink, or purple, and then my month is January. Today's project is going to be so much fun. It um, is hard themed, of course. Valentine's Day is coming up in February, and I have been tagged in a collaboration challenge. And so what I'm going to do is make um, a couple of pair of ear, well, one pair of earrings and one necklace, and they're all going to match and be really pretty. And uh, so I've got various shapes um, to use. I'm going to start out with these circles and this, these are going to be like the focal p um, pieces for my charms to go around in my um, pendant and earrings. And then I've got pink and purple like um, crystals. And then I've got some also some red beads too. These are the red beads I'm going to use, the, only the smaller ones. And then I've got lots and lots of different types of hearts. So I've got these small hearts. I have the small heart. I have the larger filigree heart. And I've got the hollow heart. And so those pieces, and along with these jump rings and this chain for a uh, necklace and head pins, and of course my tools. They're gonna be the uh, the items I use, so I can't wait to get started. And I'm gonna get started now. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I make the charms. How I'm gonna make my charms, okay? I'm using a type of head pin that has a flat head. I'll start with my little with one of the pink charms. All right, and let's go. Okay, and so what I have to do is attach all of these charms to the to the ring. So I'm going to work on attaching my charms now.
and there's going to be this one left over. Now what I did at the top, this is um, my, my demo one, what I did at the top was put, there's a, um, you see the heart at the top and then the ring and then all of the charms at the bottom. So that makes for like a long, pretty dangling earring. Now, some people might just want to have it, you know, just the earring that's about that large. So that's personal preference, but. like them both ways. I think I might like just this one the best with the uh, focal bead at the bottom. So let's, let's see what that one looks like. See, I think I like that one the best. The other one is cute with the heart at the top, but I do think this one's my favorite. And so, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to continue that same process with uh, using a ring and the different charms on the ring, and then I'm going to add, make that a pendant, and I'm going to add that to the 16-inch chain, and then I'm going to show you my finished product when everything is done.